coming to the arrays we have to uh, discuss very importantly um, write in python program python program for python program for matrix addition and matrix multiplication matrix multiplication it is very very important and you need to discuss about sparse matrix okay lower triangular matrix upper triangular matrix see i am writing here these are very very important write here python programs for python programs for programs for upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix and lower triangular matrix lower triangular matrix okay so these two are also very very important upper triangular matrix and lower triangular matrix these are the another interview questions which will be frequently asked in the interviews okay we will see few more questions okay in arrays mainly you need to focus on sorting algorithms also okay what is quick sort what is radi sort okay what is heap sort what is bubble sort okay you need to focus on sorting techniques and you need to focus on linear search binary search okay printing the array elements in reverse order either it is in descending order or ascending order okay now so you need to mainly focus on all this uh, programs okay arrays programs now coming to the strings what are the questions they will ask you in your strings concept okay so what is a string what is string in how many ways in how many ways how many ways we can represent we can represent strings in python strings in python okay na so see here guys actually everybody know that strings can be represented either single quotes or double quotes but actually strings are represented with single quotes double quote single triple quotes and double triple quotes actually single triple quotes is used for commas and double triple quotes are used for doc strings so that is the reason you need to explain all the four types okay what is a string in how many ways we can represent the strings in python so next year, 24th okay and uh, here we are using replication operator what is replication operator how you can concatenate strings okay so let us see here what is replication operator what is replication operator replication is nothing but for suppose india is there india replication should be represented with a star india star 5 so that means india will be printed for five times so that is nothing but replication operator and the 25th what is concatenation operator what is concatenation operator concatenation operator should be represented with the plus symbol okay um, so this is represented with plus c string to string concatenation will be possible but string to integer concatenation is not possible so we cannot concatenate integer with the string okay you have to remember that point why because they want to confuse you whether you need to concatenate a string with integer or not so please check it out once once you can uh, you can do the execution whether the string is concatenating with integer or not but if you concatenate integer with a string then you need to convert int to uh, int to string so that means integer should be represented with an within double quotes so then only you can concatenate the integer value with the string okay so they will ask you how we can use concatenation operator in string see guys concatenation operator can be applied on tuples 
list, arrays and strings also. In the same way replication. Replication again is used in uh, tuples, list okay, and strings. So every time I don't want to repeat these questions. Why? Because it will be used in these three concepts. Strings, lists, tuples. Okay. So that is all about your concatenation operators. Okay. So next year 26th then. What is the slicing in Python? What is slicing in Python? Based on the index positions, you need to uh, you need to retrieve the substring. Okay. Again, slicing is also applied on list, tuple, and a string. So that is the reason I am asking direct question. What is slicing in Python? Okay. Now, what are the important methods present in Strings concept. Okay. The first question is differentiate between find and index. Find and index methods. Difference between find method and index method. Both are same. Both are used to find out the index position of any character. But uh, uh, if the index position is not found, it is going to return minus 1. Find will return minus 1. But index is going to return error. Okay. What it is going to return? Error. So that is the difference between them. So in most of the interviews, they want to confuse you. So that is the reason they will ask you a question like find and index methods. And 28. Difference between. Difference between. Ends with method. Ends with method and starts with method so this is also very very important question so with examples you need to explain with examples okay so next difference between difference between uh, you need to differentiate between is lower is lower and lower methods is lower and lower methods. Okay. Is lower means if the string is present in lower case, then it can return boolean value. But lower method is nothing but it will convert upper case to lower. So that is the difference between it. Okay. And 30. Difference between 30th question. Difference between. Okay. So now in the same way, is upper and upper functions. So here also same. Upper will be converted lower string to upper string. But it will return boolean value. So don't be confused when they are asking such type of questions. Okay.